And welcome back, folks, to Building TNT. I'm your host, Ravi Ratiram. And chatting with us in studio tonight is one of the Miss World Trinidad and Tobago 2015 young delegates, Miss Venita Manu. Manu yes. yes. And Miss Venita Manu, a beauty with a purpose. Um, she's working with the members of the Autistic Society, and she was just sharing with us the experience with the Autistic Society and these yes. kids. So Vanessa, uh, Venita, I always say Venita and Vanessa. Vanessa is always on <laughs> the four there. Um, for our viewers who would like to, you know, join the society, add, add to the society, um, there's lots of kids out there mm -hmm. affected yes. um, by this challenge yes. that they faced with in life. Presence, yes. Yeah. How can people get more aware or more information or join the society? Do you have a social media page or something? Well, there is a Facebook page. You can look up the Autistic Society of Trinidad and Tobago and like the page for updates about the society. But I believe there's also a volunteer program that you can participate in at the headquarters. So if you go to Dawadi, uh, well, on the, uh, the Facebook page, you have the exact address. You can go to the headquarters and sign up to help the persons there who have autism. Also, uh, if you, there's a huge event that's coming up in August, they have a therapeutic camp that they're hosting for the children and the adults that suffer with autism. So if you, you're willing to contribute, uh, it's actually $1,200 per person to get that sort of uh, therapy. And they are trying to fund at least 40 adults and 40 children. So if anyone is willing and able to, we really encourage your support. Right, nice. Um, viewers, I want to share with you all what we started at the last episode of Building TNT, where we allow you, our viewers, to engage us a little more by texting in to the show something positive happening in your community. Your name goes into a little box, and at the end of the program, we will normally pull from that box your name based on the message that you sent, and that message will be read on... Um, the show. However, because we are starting this late, we will collect all the information and it will run in next week's episode where we will select a winner from today, tonight's show. Okay. The number for you to text in though is 738-5863 and we should be um, getting, Justin should be putting that up on the screen shortly, 738-5863 uh, and we are asking you to text us here on Building TNT of something positive that is happening in your community so that we can share that news with the rest of Trinidad and Tobago. Or if you have an event that is coming up, feel free to text us, share the information with us, and we will broadcast that through our social media, through our Facebook page, and with whatever means and channel we have. Also, if there's someone from your community that you want to nominate to be present on our show, okay. you can go ahead and text us that. The number is 738-5863. Also, tonight, Venita, we are going to be officially launching our Building TNT Miss World TT People's Choice Award. Yeah. And this prize is going to be given on night of the pageant. Okay. Um, I understand it from Vanessa, it is one of the biggest prize that is going to be given out that night, other than the crown and the title. Yeah. Um, and we have to say a special thank you to Mr. Randy Ramtahal, Gener from Randy Ramtahal General Contracting Limited, um, also highly reactive. Highly reactive. I've made a commitment also towards the price. Okay. Um, unlimited cooling, Mr. Freddy Serju at Unlimited Cooling, and the general manager of Panacom Limited, one of our producers of the show. And the list continues where these gentlemen has agreed to contribute towards this grand prize. By next week, we will be able to tell you what that grand prize is. So we'll be starting that and launching that. For you to be able to vote, however, you have to go to our Facebook page and like our Facebook page, Building TNT, and then you will be able to recommend which one of the girls you think is deserving of that prize. Okay. Right, um, so we have a lot of other activities tonight that we want to share and we may have to run through some of our conversation a little quick okay. later, if that's okay. No problem. Right? Uh, we have the Rosillac uh, Sports Committee. They had the cricket finals and it was a grand car show down at Rosillac. Um, we have been able to put together a little small presentation 
to highlight the work that members of the Rosilla community has been doing. That's my hometown. And I am so proud of all the organizers of this um, grand event that tonight we want to share it with you, the rest of Trinidad and Tobago, to see what's happening down in Rosilla. So, um, which one, if we could get that? queued up. Here you have it, folks, uh, a little slide show of the Rosillac Sports Com Committee, some of the work. There is so much more pictures. Um, you can go on their Facebook page, uh, just punch it in, Rosillac Sports Committee, and you will find all the pictures together with many more on Facebook. Uh, I see Lime TT um, starring at it, so I want to say a special good night also to our friends at Lime TT um, who have been here on the show, you know. The guys at Lime TT, I just want to share with you, recap, how excellent they have been. We have over 100,000 likes on mm -hmm. that Facebook page. Wow. And for an organization here in Trinidad and Tobago, um, to have so much likes of local people liking the page and sharing it and broadcasting, Lime TT has been doing an exceptionally wonderful job in mm -hmm. highlighting and promoting um, the wonderful things happening in around us. All the events. It's the only Lime, Lime.tt, mm -hmm. Lime.tt mm -hmm. Facebook page. So for those of you all who have been missing out uh, on events and activities, feel free to join the Lime.tt page. Um, so let's chat a little about the pageant and the run-up to, you know, the pageant, the journey. How okay. is it? Well, it's exciting. Uh, I mean, it's no walk in the park. You mm -hmm. have to do your work. You have to make sure that you're disciplined that you're really pacing yourself well so that you don't get exhausted by the end of the time when you have to do the pageant. So, you know, there are different elements involved that you have to gauge well and you just have to prep yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, yeah. in every way possible in order to uh, take on this venture and excel at it. So thus far, though, we have been having a great experience with Ms. Man, Ms. Vanessa Sahasumanu. Yeah. She is really uh, understanding and she really helps to guide us along the way. Yes. Um, we have been attending many different events, many different sites in Trinidad and Tobago. Sometimes two or three in one day, right? Yes. So you have to be very dedicated. It's not just uh, about putting on makeup and smiling and mm -hmm. you know appearing at different places you have to really have your heart and mind there you yes. know so um because if your heart is not in in it it shows huh yes, it, it shows, shows up in your persona even with your work yes if your heart is not in your work it comes out exactly. in the way you perform exactly it's a passion that drives you so yeah. you really have to um have your head on at all times and your heart in the game mm -hmm. and just go forward with it yeah lots of prominent places that you are, and people yes, that you all have been visiting? That, yes, we have visited a couple of ministers, Minister Hadid, Minister Dekoto, mm -hmm. and um, a certain places that persons would never even think about visiting probably. We went to the Coast Guard place the other day, and it, it really is a, a really interesting place to visit. How was the visit to Minister Hadid? Minister Hadid, it was really nice. Minister Hadid is, is very accommodating, yes. very hospitable, 
as a minister of tourism yes. and um, he is very easygoing also so he made us feel all very comfortable and uh, we shared a lot with him also minister dikoto and minister dikoto really encouraged us with his words and spurred us on to be not only ambassadors of outward beauty but to let the inner beauty of of your heart shine through you know? he's a very young both of them minister hadid is yes. a very charming young yes. man yes, gentleman yes, yes, yes. you know he's very eloquent in how he speak Great and personality. minister dikoto is a person who's rich with energy and spirit. Yes. He, you know, he's really a mover and a motivator when exactly. you speak to him. Exactly. So it, it, they were two very great experiences that we had at the two ministries, and we look forward to whatever. And that was the first is. time that you were meeting with these gentlemen on a personal basis. Well, you honest, met them before. Yeah, I've met them before because of my job. Okay. Um, more Minister Hadi than Minister Dikoto so with regards right. to interaction. But yeah, with that nice. job, you are communication. Coordinator, communication specialist? Yes, coordinator. Coordinator. Yes. And uh, um, during the break, some of our folks was asking for you to communicate uh, <laughs> in a, to, 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 to the Spanish-speaking and the Portuguese-speaking community <laughs> of Trinidad and Tobago to okay. say a few words to them. Okay, okay, no problem. So, Buenas noches, me llamo Vinita, yo soy eh, de Trinidad y Tobago, tengo 24 años. Y me gusta bailar, me gusta charlar, y es un placer estar acá con, con el señor Ravi. So that was Spanish. She said that she's enjoying with one of the best hosts in Trinidad and Tobago. Exactly. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> All right. Spanish. And that, that was Spanish. Portuguese is a bit different with the accent. But você fala português. Eu falo português. Pouco. Se você quer poder <laughs> falar em português. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I was to share a little um, joke with you. I had to uh -huh. visit Brazil at really? a conference a few years ago, uh -huh. not doing proper research. Mm. I was so excited to go to Brazil to this conference because it was something grand that was going to be happening right. um, in terms of technology. So Check Me went on YouTube uh -huh. and Googling Spanish tutorials uh -huh. to learn how to speak. Oh gosh, it's, it's one of those embarrassing <laughs> times where I spent a few hours uh -huh. These checking up learning Spanish, reach in Brazil oh. to find out they don't speak Spanish in Brazil. <laughs> yes, that's very important. <laughs> they <Brazil>. speak Portuguese. <laughs> in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Yeah. So, yes. So that was an exciting time. <laughs> so, folks, we also have um, some other stuff we want to share with you tonight. Uh, the Society of Severe and Inherited Blood Disorder had a breakfast and a walk around the savannah. Mm -hmm. um, it started at 6.30 in the morning and um, it was uh, led by Dr. Waveney Charles. Dr. Waveney Charles, hats off to you, our heart goes out to you, we love you very much. Um, she has been the head of the hematology department and the hematology re research area, uh, the National Blood Transfusion Center. You know, so I want to use this opportunity also to make an appeal to our guests out there, for those of you all who have been blood donors, to say a special thank you to all our blood donors of Trinidad and Tobago Society. And for those of you all who have never given blood before, you know, think about it. A pint of blood could save someone's life, you know, give a pint, save a life. Um, let's just share with our viewers the walk around the savannah where the society uh, raised the awareness Right. Of, of thalassemia and all the other um, blood, blood disorders. disorders. So we have that queued in. Folks? On Sunday, May 17, 2015, the Society for Inherited and Severe Blood Disorders hosted its annual walkathon and fundraising event at the Queen's Park Savannah. Building TNT was fortunate to be part of the event, which was an overwhelming success. Patron of the Society, former First Lady Zaleha Hassanali, attended and participated in the event along with the Society's Medical Technical Director and Senior Consultant Hematologist at the Port of Spain General Hospital, Dr. Waveney Charles. The Society's current President, Mr. Issa Ali, chaired a brief opening ceremony prior to the start of the walkathon and expressed his gratitude to those present for their unwavering commitment and support to the society and the event. In attendance were representatives of the Ministry of Health, 
the executive members and friends of the Society for Inherited and Severe Blood Disorders, and franchise holder of Miss World TNT 2015, along with the Miss World TNT finalists. President of the Society, Issa Ali, also stated his distinct pleasure in welcoming the Regional Program Director of the Latin America's South and North America and the Caribbean chapter of the World Federation of Hemophilia, Miss Luisa Durante. The World Federation of Hemophilia comprises of over 100 member countries, of which TNT is not only accredited to, but enjoys voting rights on. The Society for Inherited and Severe Blood Disorders was born in 1983 from the Thalassemia Association of TNT, founded by Dr. Waveney Patricia Charles. The Society now represents persons diagnosed with thalassemia, as well as hemophilia and sickle cell anemia. The Society is both a non-governmental organization as well as a registered charitable organization with its main objectives being to offer holistic support to affected families, to educate the public about inherited and severe blood disorders, to offer screening and counseling to patients and their families, and to ensure access to optimum treatment and care for all members. Building TNT was pleased to be part of such a charitable occasion and congratulate Mr. Issa Ali and the executive of the society for a well-organized and well-attended event. As one of the groups that most definitely continues to build TNT, the Society for Inherited and Severe Blood Disorders can be sure to see building TNT again at next year's event. And welcome back folks to Building TNT. Wasn't that a well put together presentation? Yes, very well. It was very exciting. Yeah. And I want to say a special thank you to Mr. Ralph Dunerine, that uh, uh, professional voicing that you heard there yeah. behind the scenes. Um, Ralph has been doing a lot towards making these productions the success that it is. Okay. So we want to say a special thank you to Ralph and his family. Um, also, for those who participated in that walk, I mm -hmm. want to say a special thank you. The walk is growing from last year to this year. It is growing. You can see the numbers of participants. And then next year, is going to be even bigger because I'm sure most of you, of yours, are going to be coming out to join the walk um, to support the Society for Inherited and Severe Blood Disorder. Where were we in our chat while that was going on? Well, we were Definitely. talking about a number of events, I believe, yeah. and not the Miss World experience. Yes. So. So, so, so this experience uh -huh. for the Miss World pageant, mm -hmm. Venita, has it? Um, what has it done to you thus far? You know, has it transformed? Has it, this is your first time in pageant? Yes, this is my first pageant. First pageant experience. Yes. Well, it has really, more than anything else. Um, opened up my my mind to really getting a better feel of how it is to serve others. Because yes. I have been involved in charity work before, yes. but more on an educational basis, you know, teaching certain um, persons about reading and writing. Yeah. But I think that the, the activities that we have participated in have really helped me to connect in an emotional way to the persons who we are interacting with. And right. I think that's really a priceless feeling. It really helps, uh, makes you feel uh, extremely uh, happy, you know, infused mm -hmm. with happiness when you do yeah. that and give of yourself. So uh, apart from that also, we have learned a lot about Trinidad and Tobago generally. Mm -hmm. uh, we've gone to different places, like as I was mentioning to you, um, the. Coast Guard, yes. we've gone to the Parliament The Coast actually. Guard Museum, you all went to the museum? The museum, all, we had an entire tour of the, um, the Coast Guard's establishment, mm -hmm. you know, spent the entire day with them, a uh, really good bunch of, of, of guys. And um, we have also gone to places like Parliament uh, to even have a debate today. Today we was a, a debate a in Parliament. Debate yeah. in Parliament. How was that? So it was really nice. Uh, we actually created um, a topic to debate on. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Senate, they're, they're now, or they were closing off the yes. debate of um, the traffic bill. Right. So we came up with a point to focus on today, which was whether a new driver, that's someone who has just obtained their license, should 
be supervised for a year by an experienced driver. Okay, so yeah. the mentorship. Yes. So we share that a little in a little while yes. with our viewers, but I want to cover some of the um, footage sure. that we have outstanding. Sure, um, no problem. The next exciting thing I want to share with um, our viewers is a portion of the Hanuman chant. Uh, it ran for about three to four hours. So also next week, we're going to share a little more okay. of the Hanuman chant with our viewers. Um, but we should have that queued up uh, um, to show to our viewers. I went there and the energy mm. that that place had, you know, with all the devotees of Hanuman coming together, singing the glories, the chalisa of Hanuman, and, um, you know, meeting all Raviji. I met Raviji, I met Nival Chitlal in oh, okay. person, Nival Chitlal, the guy with the golden voice. Yeah. So mm. we have it all queued up there. Let's share the footage from the Hanuman chant with our viewers right away. This is Ravi Ratram of Building TNT and tonight we are live at the Diwali Nagar site where thousands and thousands of devotees of Sri Hanuman has come together to chant his glories, his poetry, his 40 verses contained in what we call the Hanuman Chalisa. Now the Hanuman Chalisa is that uh, that uh, that prayer to Lord Hanuman who, that was brought uh, to Trinidad and Tobago by our forefathers that came from India. So to our viewers who are watching our show tonight on Building TNT, let us talk a little bit about what is Sri Hanuman Chalisa. Sri Hanuman Chalisa is 40 verses of verses in dedication to Pauna Putra Hanuman. It sings about the glory of Hanuman. It also says in the meaning of Sri Hanuman Chalisa, once you chant Hanuman Chalisa, it removes all negativities from the body. It moves all negativities from the surrounding. It removes negativity from the world. It helps to charge the body of positive vibration. It re-energizes the body. It moves all diseases away from the body.
pleasure meeting you, sir. Same here. Uh, right. Today was very exciting and amazing. Well, this has been uh, what we would call some, something unique, something spiritual, something uh, the vibration that was experienced here tonight cannot be described. Give us two words of the Lindy Tell me about the program. You look at the program. Yes. Um, I, I, I think that um, this program can only grow from strength to strength. It really um, is in pursuit of a better Trinidad and Tobago. And um, with you at the helm and with your overall vision, all I can say is it can sort of reach out high and continue to do what you are doing because building TNT is what we are about from the People's Partnership point of view. Thank you very much. from the Hanuman Chalisa that after one week it's coming to my mind again and again. Durga Makaha Jagat Ke Jese Durga Manukraha Tumbara Ke Jese Verse 20 of the Hanuman Chalisa You see that's right. He who makes everything that is difficult easy to do is Hanuman. I experience that. And welcome back, folks, to Building TNT. Benita, what do you think about that video yeah. that we just saw there? Very colorful, very mm. vibrant. Yes. I like it. It was um, extremely exciting, you know, mm. and we're looking forward to Hanuman chanting Trinidad and Tobago Part 2. Okay. I understand that there's another um, part of it that is coming soon. So I want to say a special good night to Mrs. Sanara Siram um, and... Brahmachari Ish, who was here on Building TNT, also um, Pandit Ganesh, and all the others uh, from the Hanuman Chant group. Uh, um, folks, uh, thank you all very much for having us, Building TNT, you know, included in the work that you all have been doing. We really appreciate the opportunity to be there to add and to contribute. And as we go by week by week, we will be sharing with our viewers some more footage of that um, event. You saw like the place was just overflowing, I yes. understand. Yeah? It was packed. Packed over 7,000 chairs yes. were all occupied and then there were people just rejoicing on the name of Sri Hanuman. Mm. Also coming up uh, in soon will be the month of Ramadan and next week we will be sharing with you a little more about mm. the month of Ramadan okay. um, where hopefully we will have someone from the um, Muslim community here with us on Building TNG to share with your viewers uh, that holy month of Ramadan, what it is all about, uh, um, why the fast, uh, the, the, the significance and the breaking of the fast and the community and so forth. And then we will also have uh, the significance of Idur Fitr celebrated here in Trinidad and Tobago for members of the Muslim community. We'll be sharing with you a little about that also. Um, moving ahead with our program tonight, and we were diving into the gift for life experience that you all had, I believe it was Mother's Day? Yes, so they had a special event for certain charities that came together, okay. and uh, we interacted a lot with the children that were there. They had bouncy castles, they had a pool, they had a few games, so it was really nice again. We even danced with some of the kids that were there. I understand there, you you're a dancer, that is one of your... Um, <laughs> Your talent is dancing? Yes, one of my talents I is dancing. I wonder if you were able to capture that on film with you Ooh. dancing there. <laughs> <laughs> so folks, we have a little footage on the Gift for Life Mother's Day celebration where um, Vivek and Shakuntala and Lachmi and all the folks from Gift for Life, uh, um, Rodney Reynolds, special good night to you sir, who was here on Building TNT, sharing with our viewers the wonderful work that Gift for Life has been doing 
you can see them in all the malls that you go to, the movie town, they're always asking, do you, would you like to sponsor a child? And sometimes they have the Gift for Life t-shirt. Viewers, whenever you meet one of these folks, stop and feel free to give a contribution. I also was just um, told by Shanice that one pint of blood can save up to three lives. So feel free also to become a blood donor, which soon we will be having our, our drive, to you know, blood drive, where we yes. can have uh, um, blood collection. Right. We're working out with the National Blood um, Center, okay. Blood Transfusion Center. Okay. Um, but for now, let's share the gift for life, uh, Mother's okay. Day celebration, where we had over 150 50 kids children. from the yes. different orphanage coming together and enjoying having a motherly figure on that uh, day, Mother's Day. Let's get that. And welcome back, folks, to Building TNT. There you saw the exciting work that mm -hmm. Gift for Life yes. um, and the Miss World delegates and everyone have done on um, Mother's Day. Yes, we had yeah. a lot of fun with yeah. the kids, as I you understand saw. understand that was <laughs> at um, Auntie Mo's residence and Uncle Bell. In Bejuka. In, in Bucal. Uh -huh. Yes, up in Bucal. So I want to say a special good night to, to you folks, Auntie Mo and Uncle Bell. I want to say a special thank you on behalf of the delegates and the folks from Gift for Life for hosting them and hosting the kids and having such an exciting event. I'm sure the kids had a wonderful time. Yes, yeah? they did. <laughs> what was most exciting for you? What stood out? The what games, I saw Congo Line. 
Yeah, we, we go on the Congo line. <laughs> Everything with the kids. The kids are really sweet. They re yeah. really, they were interacting with us a lot, you know, laughing and running around the place. But it was fun. So we loved it. I, I, I <laughs> could imagine. So, you know, you, I, I really admire what you all, the delegates of the Miss World pageant, um, have been doing. And, you know, I want to say a special thank you and congratulations to Miss Vanessa Sahatu Manu for this um, Beauty with a Purpose uh, event yes. that allow the, the competition to transform from just a beauty competition, but a competition with significance, with value, with purpose. Mm. Yes, you know? exactly. And um, folks, you know, these uh, young delegates will be continuing their work uh, through this vehicle of building TNT. We are going to, you know, whatever support that we can give the delegates to continue the work for the rest of the year with these societies. Um, and show by show, we are going to be bringing on the societies that you all partner with and work with so you can start making arrangements with the members of the Autistic Society right. to be coming here on the show yeah. to share with our viewers the work that they have been doing. Um, we also had the Princess Elizabeth um, stuff to share, but we will have to save that for next, next week because week. time is of the essence. I want to say a good night to Ravi Puran Maharaj um, and the society for the social social upliftment society down there in um, Bonaventure, Happy Hill. Okay. Um, the excellent work that you guys have been doing. Um, Michael Owen and the folks of Grand Coover, you know folks I had the pleasure of going to the start of a Shiv Puran Yagna. Oh. It's happening down in Grand Coover so from here we're heading back down there okay. and it's going to be going for the next three nights. Um, so we'll be there. Uh, Venita, it was nice. Yes, the show. it was. It was Thanks. You know, we have we get in the signal where we'll have to start <laughs> wrapping up tonight's so show now. So, in closing off tonight's show, however, I want to give you the opportunity to share with our viewers, you know, your message. Um, today, you had some exciting events and stuff like that, and understand that there's some announcement and stuff that was made that is related to your society also. Oh yes, uh, actually, at the postcard session today, they announced that they have ratified the Disabilities Act. So you could see that, you know, at least some steps are making, put, being put forward and established in Trinidad to see about these less fortunate, well, the persons with disabilities in our society. And I'm very happy for that. I hope that with the Autistic Society also, uh, the government will soon uh, come to a, a firm agreement with regard to the establishment of an institute for them. Okay, that would yes. be nice. Um, so folks, uh, it, I must say at this time, thank you all very much for tuning in and being here with us. Um, next week we will share with you the experience of the Princess Elizabeth whom also um, good night to the members of the Eco Park in St. Helena. We didn't have the footage ready for tonight's show, but hopefully by next week we will have the footage where the community, Trinidad and Tobago, the country, celebrated 170 years of, of in, Indian, Indian arrival. arrival. Uh, you all were there also yes, in the wonderful nice. saris and shalwaras yes. and gararas. So we will be sharing that with our viewers. Um, in closing off, Anita, I want to get, allow you the opportunity to close off in sharing your message to our youths, our young ladies out there in Trinidad and Tobago. As for me, I want to thank our production team, thank everyone here at WIN, and thank you, our viewers, for tuning in and affording us this opportunity to contribute towards building a better TNT. Like us on Facebook and make your contribution, make your vote to the delegate that you think is most worthy of wearing that crown and representing us in the Grand Miss World Tournament that is going to be coming soon. So I hand you all over now to my lovely co-host for this <laughs> evening, <laughs> Thank Benita you. Manu. Thank you, Ravi. So I would just like to encourage all the young ones out there, especially girls, to focus on your inner beauty, focus on the secret person of the heart more than on your outward and external appearance. Short but sweet message. Thank you and a pleasant good night to all of you.